What is up? What is up? All right, so everybody, well, not everybody. A lot of people have been asking me for an update on the 90 acre project. And if you are new to the channel, the 90 acre project is 90 acres, 89.8 actually, but hey, we know how to round up. So 90 acres that I purchased at the end of the year. It's about a mile down the street. I divided it up. We took 90 acres, but I don't, I don't like to do all the little post stamp lots 90 acres divided into 10 lots ranging from five acres to 20 acres actually almost 21 acres so we sold a lot of it right away uh, what we've got left is that we have this on either side of the street and you might have seen Chris's, Chris's video by now but six lots on the north side and five lots on the south side so on the north side we sold lot one two three and five we're getting ready to go into contract on six that's the one that he put the pond on the small pond on lot four has been under contract two different times the first time they ended up backing out because they wanted bigger trees and the second group uh the husband never really wanted to move at all and the wife did and she thought she was going to get away and it kind of fell apart then so uh, it's back on the market, so that's the only one I've got left on that side. And then on the south side, there's the almost 21 acres that's on the market. And then there's lot two, so that's lot one. And then lot two, which is 6.8 acres, is left. Lot three and four. Uh, three is already closed and sold. That's the one you saw Chris clearing on. And four closes in about two weeks. And that's the one that Chris was putting the uh, driveway, the uh, well, the lot access pipe onto. So I'm going to ride down there, see what Chris has been doing, and give you guys an update. Well, looky there. Chris sure does make it nice for me. I already put the little entrance culvert in. This is lot four. This is the one that closes in a couple weeks. So you pull in here. There's the stake for the property line to three. And it goes off this way. It's five acres. Real nice. Uh, it, you know, has like six, seven years of growth on and that's it. So pretty cool. And then, oh, look at that. Well, Chris been getting it done. As usual. I tell you what, I must say it is, it is enjoyable to watch Chris work spending someone else's money. <laughs> well, let's see what he's got. Oh yeah, this is nice. And it's turned out great. I'm kind of surprised he took down the new owner, I should say. He took down these trees though and got rid of the buffer to the road, but whatever. Dirt doesn't look too bad over here, does it? I'm standing on the south side looking across. That's the north side. All over in there is where Chris and I rode around and did our adventures. And way back, way over there is where I got the tractor stuck. So. These are some really nice tracks of land. I would have loved to actually held on to some, which I may still, we'll see what happens, but for the, uh, maybe for the kids in the future too, but. Yeah, okay. So over there is the, if you look, let me see if I can pick it up on here. If you look down through there is the orange, that's the property line, so that's the, over there is the 6.8 acre lot that's for sale. Had someone look at it today. And then the other side of it is the almost 21 acres. This project has turned out pretty nice. Worked out pretty good across the street. And I'm not going to ride down there because I'm on the side by side. But uh, if you remember when I looked at that project with Chris, that was like the two and a half acres and it had the old house, but it was too far gone to repair and all that. I did end up purchasing that. So you're gonna see that coming up. You'll get to see a house demo video and all that stuff. So we're gonna build a spec house there unless somebody pops up wanting to purchase it before I get that far. But right now the plan is that I'm gonna build a spec house there uh, to sell. We'll go down and check and see how the 
pond is looking. So this is track four on the uh, north side. So it goes off this way. It goes all the way back to, you know, there's the short little trees, then there's a little big tree, and there's real big trees. It goes back to the big trees. So, yeah. See, this is where, uh, man, it's been a couple months already, probably close to it. When Kyle was out of here, was out here while Chris was on vacation, and uh, I had him clear back in here some because this was all, you know, the thorny briars and crap. So I wanted to kind of get an idea of, you know, what you could do here. So you could build a little further back and do a basement house, or you could even do a basement up a little closer to or of course, you got plenty of room up here to build, so it's nice. Don't expect it will last much longer. So there's the pond that Chris put in. We cleared this over here. We've agreed on the details, but it's supposed to go under contract officially Monday. And I'll be building their house. So it doesn't have much more to come up, about three feet. That turned out really nice. Uh, the house is gonna sit over here in this area. It comes in from up there, so you could put the driveway up there, which is, you know, right now we got an entrance driveway here, but I might recommend to them if they want to uh, end up putting a driveway up there, they could, depends on if they wanna be seen or not. You know, they could put trees there and block it off and no one ever really see the house much, or they could come straight in, so. Couple options for them. I said, yeah, the pond turned out pretty nice. That handles, you know, the road uh, ditch we diverted in here. We didn't really divert it. They, the county had actually stopped it. It just stopped here. There is no ditch over there. So that'll flow in here and then gets full and it flows back to the creek because the creek is right there at, the, uh, at those trees. Sure is nice out here that was quiet i'm on the lookout so you know a lot of people usually when big tracts of land come up for sale it's either been inherited or you know people just can't hold on to it anymore or whatever but uh, i like doing deals i did not on this one we didn't do it but i like doing deals where i'm kind of working with the landowners too so if you've got some property you're out here you need to make some money you want to sell it but you don't necessarily want to get it see it get turned into uh, a whole bunch of little postage stamp size places hit me up you know i can uh probably make you more money long term than uh what you would uh get anyway but a couple tracks we're looking at there's not a lot right now not here you have to go about 15 more minutes further away from raleigh right now to get anything big uh, Chris has been working out there some on some projects, but it's not really anything that uh, interests me at this time. I did look at that 100 and what was it, 110, 110, 130 acres, whatever it was I looked at with y'all. And uh, I passed up on that one. Just uh, I would have bought it in a heartbeat if it was out here, but it's just uh, a little bit further down the road too much. And it's got that weird kind of set off in the back area it's just kind of you know but that's how land is everything has something funky to it so you got to just recognize that and decide what you want to do so uh i'm gonna fly the drone real quick and then i gotta head back to the house and meet chris he's stopping by to check on another project we got going on i've been working all day i worked yesterday in the day on the basement uh, I didn't really do much filming because I've just been doing strapping and just a little stuff to get ready. We're going to be hitting it really hard this week and uh, hopefully pouring soon. So, see you in the next one. Boop. Keep losing sleep Thinking of things I shouldn't have said you got in my head Always waiting for something break down think i'm safer with my head in the clouds keep it all in my mind as i leave you behind 
wish I could be careless with or without you. So sure of everything that I do. Careless, no matter the room. Careless with or without you. You. Every detail holds. Second guessing every word out of my mouth, wondering if you worry about what.